Um, I, I want to start out by saying just briefly that I agree with nearly everything that my colleagues have, have said about state secrets, about the privilege, about its abuse in recent years, uh, and about the need for legislation in, in this area. Um, I think it's important as a general matter to have oversight of what the executive branch is doing. It's particularly important to have some sort of oversight over secret programs that otherwise wouldn't um, make it to the light of day. We've seen again and again over the last six or seven years that when the executive branch is left unchecked, uh, it tends to arrogate more power and to abuse that power. We've seen it um, in the so-called war on terror. We've seen it uh, in various uh, aspects of the, the war in Iraq. We've seen it in the use of domestic authorities for collecting information, uh, whether it's the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act uh, and electronic surveillance that takes place in the United States, or the FBI's uh, use of national security letters, which are essentially administrative subpoenas by which the FBI can gather vast amounts of data, uh, communications records, financial records, uh, and the like. And so without effective oversight, um, it's, it's natural, really, for the executive branch to try to use its power to the fullest extent and ultimately go across the, the legal line, the line of propriety. Congress has been largely asleep at the switch. I agree very much with Aziz on, on that point. Uh, I think it has gotten better in the last two years, but I do think there is still more that needs to be done by Congress as the other political branch in uh, wielding a much uh, tougher stick when it comes to its oversight functions. With <laughs>